Welcome. I am Crime Queen, and if you are joining us for the first time, it's the channel where we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. This is where we actualize self-love with scriptural references, especially that of um, Genesis of chapter 1 and 2, and it's the King James Version. Mm. Yeah, we are not into having this... Um, new versions because basically i'm believing that there is a very good reason or very uh, whatever reason they have this new version why is it a new version anyway i won't go into that right now but king james's version is seen to have been the bedrock of the structures and constructs and practices and conditions and manipulations and good teachings too and um, all those things that have influenced and shaped our lives so basically I want to know how those things have come about that was what I wanted to know to know how that I can shift it it's like giving a coin on one way you look at the queen's head on it and you do not bother to look on the back and to see what symbols are on there, what year it was made, which reminds me, I don't, you know, because and then we say we want money, but we don't really know what money is, just for instance, because we don't, we couldn't care less. The bell goes on that. We couldn't care less um, the full structure of it. We just want it. How do we know how we connect with it? I mean, if I was to get a coin that was made on the very same year that I was born, I probably would have some kind of significant um, sentiment, um, sentiment about it. I'm just saying. I'm just drawing on these analogies and hoping they make sense to you. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, this is Mother Eve. And, oh, it's amazing how these two lights are on there. And I am believing that there is a message. I have been looking at, of course, they're my two lamps. But I am believing that they are saying, oh, of course, they are saying something. Just look where those lights are pointing because we have one and we have nine we have s and we have e and i am just seeing now i didn't do this measurement i did not measure this wow it's almost unbuilt well yeah so there i will say according to mother eve let there be light and there was light unto that which we are about to do okay because the word there has in it hair so while there is the light this is why we it's good for us to understand whatever you are giving out we hear it but we do not on well i've only just started understanding it even fuller because that is the tool and um, instrument of numerology so it gives me a, the opportunity to look at the words um carefully now really i don't want to stray much from what i'm about to say i'm going to leave pluto there because pluto is really um significant but when it is said oh you can't give of what you don't have of course so true but then we end up feeling very depleted after we have given of ourselves because we have not included ourselves somehow in the experience of that which we are doing. T-H-E-R-E -E has in it, in the word, let's be specific, or like a Pacific, <laughs> specific, okay, it has hair. It also has he. So if you are giving he, or if you are a he, and it also have her, and if you are a her, or you are giving to her, and it also, as we say, that's what there is about. It's inclusive. And if it is the something, the whatever it is, it has the. 
Now, if you want to be poetic about whatever it is and have a light sphere about it, you could also add air. E -R -E. That's how you say, hey, I love. There we are. So the word in itself. Now, I want you to see this because there's magic in the words. Now, that's the second, le that's the second word of Mother Eve. I'm not sure if I'm going to do what I intended doing um, before this, but because this is so delicious and I'm hoping that you are tasting of this deliciousness that I am now, which is here and there, sharing with you. So, basically, even the ends of the word, which is T and, and E, which um, equals, when in numerical value, equals T is 2 and E, which is T, again, is 5, I'm counting ahead, that equals 7. It equals 7, which means it's like telling us we are the beginning and the end in that way. It's like we are the whole, as I have done numerical values. So when you check out the magic number of two, you will see what I mean. You will see what I mean when you check out the magic number of two. Then we see in the middle, so we have each of these letters have their own uh, individual socket let's put it this way and so we see though mother mm. eve is there in the middle in the middle and there is of course she's in the end now we have the t here of course when we do that which is of two strokes we could say it's of two strokes we won't go too much into that now because all the um, letters, if I do them in, which I will do on another occasion, I will do the, um, the full characteristics on, um, in capital letters and you will see the magic of the word there. But I just wanted to give you the essence of this hair now because then you know what is hair is also there. Don't you just love this? I do. I certainly do. I certainly do. Now, Pluto, of course, we have seen how three becomes eight. This is Pluto. We have to deal with Pluto. Okay. I'm just putting... So we call into Revelation, into what we are doing. We are working with Revelation. Let's do this ease. Ah, okay. Revelation and water for transparency. So this is Mother Eve, as I say, in case I don't know if I've announced that, in case you are new to this, this is what we are doing the numbers so you get the insight of the magnificence and um, wonderfulness of the numbers. So when you see number three, if you are number three, for instance, you could think, oh, wow, I am number three. Yes, I can understand why I can relate to that creativity aspect of that which I see or experience with another person. I am free. Hence, that, well, this is why I want to sit at one minute and I want to stand the next minute and I want to converse in the next minute and I want to do everything at one time um, because I'm so dynamic. I'm I'm a creative being. I am three in one and I want to fly. I want to take my wings to the sky. I want to um, write. I want to sing. I want to draw. You will understand that. Now let's look at the magic of number four. We are looking at magic of numbers. Magic of four. Now, I didn't do that with the other um, letters or numbers rather, like um, one, two, and three, because, um, but 
So with 3, for instance, I'll just do that. We looked at the L as in letter there be light because it has a numerical value of 3. So, and because it's Mother Eve's first word, which equals 10, I thought I would look at that in reference to the makeup of, and values of the numbers. So, there I was now, um, yeah, as I say, I was doing... Um, number one first and we saw that we had 10 of course we see how the serpent the zero in number 10 is the serpent curling itself and it's got its other um pre it's got its presence that's why this we use not not as in nothing as if it doesn't count although we know everything is circular there is a circle but we are not to make sense of our world, we are not looking at the circle. It's as if it has become the two eyes and there's a bridge between the eyes. So we, the bridge is like a symbol of that um, separation. Hence though, we are given this nose hair to be able to go within like we were breathing that which gives life. And that's why it is said, know thyself. Know thyself, the nose is a symbol of that know. To know thyself and open thy third, your third eye and, and ignite your kundalini and, and see from that other eye, which is number eight, and which is also number nine. Because, of course, the bridge has to find something like itself on which to attach itself to. Wow. That's Emmett Fox. <laughs> he didn't say the bridge, but could be anything. So, four. So, number four is, of course, we have four. And we can see that it was an L. And I've just put a stroke here. Just put that one in here. It's, four, it's number four. And then, so we see here, we could say in number four, just looking at it this way is three strokes it has three strokes but it has one two three four points it has four points or five one two three four five five points but it has four ends so four ends and four points okay so four plus five is nine we can see where nine comes in already so it's i'm having a deja vu here right now Really? Okay. I've done this before. I'm having a deja vu right here, right now, right this minute. Okay. So, it's um, let's do the numerical value. Deja vu always tend to want you to stop and work out something that you know you can't really work out. Then that you have done it before. Okay. So, it's six, six three nine so of course on the template we have also seen three six uh, nine three six nine three six nine now this there is so much to those three six nines but there's so much before I go into them that I need to yeah that's for another subject now when we see the word four four is so powerful that's another thing that I would, um, wow, where do we end with this? The numbers are like eternal. And what I had not done, because I'm going to, I'm go I think I will go over those, those um, numbers to have it in the sense of when we say one, that it sounds like O-N-W-O-N-E. So we will do that. When someone says two, the T-O and T-O-O -O and T-W-O. So we'll do another thing around that. So, but let's look at um, four. We look at the word four and we already see it has our in it. So in that four consists of everything, but we are doing the numbers. We are doing the numbers. Let's just see that. So we do four. This is um, 9 and 9, 18, 
1920-24. So 4 is really 6. Now, how do we know that? We have done the numerical value for, um, for we have looked at 6 as the number of man. We have looked at 6 as um, Mother Eve, who made us oh, um, in the said God, meaning the number 15, 1 plus 5 is 6. So you can check this out in the other numbers like 1, 2, 3. And we, so we see that, and if we do the numerical value for 6, because that's how we, that's the format we have, we see the S is Mother Eve right there. Mother Eve is right there, and in here, which is I, 9, and, and 6, is 15. So we can see here would be 9, and this would be 6, when we add this together would be 15, but Mother Eve being number 1 or number 10, we have six, um, 15, that would be 16. So in 16, we have the number 7. The number 7, we have done the numerical value and see that when we do 7, as in a word, it comes back to 2. So 2, of course, is foundation, like here, S-E-V-E-N. And we see Mother Eve is in the middle of the 7. This is Mother Eve trying to say, I, you are 6. And as you see yourself seven, as the seventh day of, of rest, inclusive, I am in the middle. Hence, it was said that everything God did, he saw it was good. He saw it was good. There is that cutting as well as that the ability to see as well in that story. So basically, four is, we know four is foundation. It is um, four pillars. We know it is four strokes. We know um, it is um, the four seasons, the four gospels, the four elements. We know of all of those things there that four represent. And in that four, your four points, like it were Christ on the cross. So basically, the four hair, when like Christ going to um, dying on the cross, or submitting to his dying, which is the kundalini, which is the crucifixion, however you want to see it. It's where you give in. That's what the crucifixion really symbolizes. You have given off trying to do things from the lower chakra. This is why. So there's the cross. And there's Jesus' head. Just let's put it this this way. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so there's the cross. There's Jesus' head. And there's his arms being nailed here. One here, one there. So, and his two legs are together. This is a nail. By the way, the word nail equals nine. So the two legs come together. He's like this. And that's his upper body hair. Okay. And that's his hands. Okay. So this is the cross. It means that we notice that the two feet, um, the feet are nailed together. Two. That was another thing that I got today. I look at the word together. It's like to get her, to get her. You have to do that to get her. Okay. Isn't that what a man does as well, to get the woman, to get her? That's the word together. Okay. So there's one nail hair, one nail hair, and of course one hair. So we could say that there are three nails hair, three but the head also equals nine. So three, three nines are 27, two plus seven, winning. Three nines are 27, meaning there are two sevens. Two sevens are 14. Mother Eve is 14. When we do the numerical value for Eve in here, which we see there's two sevens, three nails, the word nail, N-A-I-L, is five one nine three 
added together is 10, 15, 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9. So that's the word for nail. So there are three nails in this crucifixion of Christ. The three nails now, when we add, say, three, three nines are 27, we have the two seven. This two seven is talking to us. It's like saying, um, I'm dying of my two selves or I'm getting my two selves together. That's why we have the word selves. So two sevens are 14. So this is a representation of coming into the oneness of Mother Eve, which is five. One plus four is five. Now, one plus four is five. I want us to really look at the five. Five is saying, I am getting my male side and my female side all in sync because that is the key to life. The word key is seven, five, two. Meaning again, taking the two of the sevens together to becoming centered. This is key. Key is what lets you in. Key is what lets you out. And of course, we have seen the word in also equals five. It's 14. Nine and five. This is just a beautiful subject for me. And it's a beautiful place to be. And I'm hoping that people really get this. So this is the crucifixion of Christ. Now, the key, as I say, it's two seven here, and the, it also means house, it means home, it means lock. It is the key, the key is um, comparable with lock. And um, so we have seen seven here, and of course five is here. Now, looking at four, so four is telling us about getting to your north, your south, your east and west. That's what it is. It shows us when we do the number six, how it takes us to seven to seeing the fullness of who we are. Because we are number six. It also depicts the day of rest and the sixth day of creation here. And it also depicts, um, of course, Mother, um, Mother Eve in the sense of that we are seeing um, the two sides of who we are. This is why we have the, um, the, the male and the female, for instance. So the male and the female, male and female comes together. I think it's, okay. I didn't want to go too far into this, but, so we can see the magic of number four. As I say, it show, it's really about letting us know ourselves. Now, the, another thing before I go to um, for much further with the male, female, the head is also head. The word head equals nine, H-E-A-D. So we can see how four had four's um, relationship to nine. So this is eight, five, one, four. So there we have. 5 and 5, 10 plus 8 is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. So this is the thing. The head takes us, head actually takes us to headquarters zone. Of course, 1 plus 8 is 9. And then when you've gone to headquarters zone on the template, you deliver. Because 9, let's just go. So, we are four. Of course, there's another way um, of saying four is also ten. Because when we add all these digits together, one, two, three, four, that comes to ten. So, we can see where ten is also four. Um, that's another way of looking at it. Um, but looking at, um, I was saying five. Okay, so we saw that four... I'm trying to um, remember, but eight, where I've done eight, it means it takes you to headquarters zone, the word head. 
actually has the H with it. So meaning, as I say, I always see it as a ladder. So it's really, and it also has an I because it's the I turned the other way. So capital, it's capital H like this is I. So this is H and this is I. So basically, um, we see the um, two in one aspect of it here. Okay. Now, so it takes you to headquarter zone. This is where you pay your dues to the inland revenue. And of course, as I mentioned, inland revenue, we will see that I have done some subjects on um, topics on um, black, white um, equation of entrapment. So um, just touching on that, that might interest you as well to see like how easy it is or was for a certain group to be in that bracket of being able to pay their dues and go into the cycle of um, economy and um, the corporate world and others would not be seen like this. But then that is another subject that, um, to be explored and with the view and sight and insight and foresight to get in resolution. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything else, of course, that I'm looking at for here, we can see why Facebook have also got the F, F as the symbol for Facebook. Because, of course, the F in itself have got, it's like your face, this is the forehead, this is where your eyes or your cheeks come into play. And of course the mouth, whatever. But I'm just um, showing that we can see the symbols, how they can relate to our features as well. Now, uh, and the so when we see F, um, F for four, I would say, or F for face. Um, I don't even remember F for what it would be um, in uh, of F for food. Um, F for father. So these are things that we could all relate to and of course wanting more of. Okay. And we have our, um, and we have for, like meaning for, for you, for me, for the other person, F or R in there. So it's the magic, wow, magic of four. Okay. That's the magic of number four. But more um, and foremost is that four is, while it is stable, because that's why we can see it's stable, it's stable in, in the idea that it is whole and it's implicit in that of what it represents. So Christ died on the cross for us, we are told. Now for us, this is not um, oh. The us also, wow, okay, us also means four. Three plus one equals four. So basically when the language have been used in a certain way to convey the story, it must sink because it is actually tied in with itself. For God, for God so love the world it probably means that four different gods love us and the other four which comes to it uh not so much loving us that's another thing that i believe is being conveyed there because we need to go back to the kindergarten of this language for god so love the world it really means four four gods but of course for god and then he gave his only begotten son. He is actually four as well. Because he is 13. Because we're, let's just do this. So God is eight. Because we have seen how eight, God, it was the said God who said, let there be light. So let's see. So God is seven plus six plus four. Okay. Seven plus six plus four. 
So God love the world. Love is nine. The world, world is six. And we are, of course, I think world is six. So for God, let's see. We are looking at for God or for God, F-O-R, which is um, six, six, nine. So this is 15 and 5, 15, um, that would be 21. 15 plus 6 is 21. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now we have seen how 3 had become a 12 petal flower as well. Um, or 8 had become 8 petal flower as well. So it becomes 8 petal flower, meaning it is 1, 2, three four so four it's the eight petal flower that this is equals um six plus four ten plus seven is seventeen one plus seven is eight so god is eight god is eight and this is the eight flower petal flower that god is and then we had four god meaning we see is three and we saying is four gods for God, meaning one, two, three, four. So there is a great intelligence in the language. Of course, this is understandable because Mother Eve is the God of language. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you have found this fun. And I hope you will share, like, and subscribe. Because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in self-full love. Stay bliss-filled. Be a field. Be ignited. Because we are planting new seeds. And spill over with love. Namaste.